I am picking some um, tomatoes, eggplant, what else? Uh, pepper and calamondi today, the green zebra. So look at those pretty tomatoes. These are my tomato harvest. I'm picking some more. Yeah. This is Isis candy. We have 15 varieties of tomatoes. I'm picking tomatoes, uh, peppers, Kalamundin or calamansi and eggplant. I'm going to make pinangat. Pinangat. It's a Filipino dish. More tomatoes here. And here. Then the um, kalamundin. I need the kalamundin to make the uh, pinangat sour. So kalamundin is all the way out here. This is variegated kalamundin. So this, uh, look at the leaves. It is colorful. And then um, here are the fruits. So, kalamundin or kalamansi. Okay. There's one there that is like ripe already. <laughs> like yellow already. Or, or yeah. Hmm. I wish you can smell this. This smells so good too. And there's more here. Some of them are like almost on the ground so um, we also use this for to make juice okay, let me more here Lemon this should be good. And then I need some pepper. This is a uh, Kyoto Fushimi. They are Japanese peppers. They are not uh, they are not that spicy. So I picked about five. And last one is uh Eggplant. So here I'm a, here are my garden pickings now. Tomatoes, um, tomatoes, calamondine and egg and um, peppers. And this is Japanese eggplant. This is a uh, round marunasu. This is from Kyoto, Japan. So this is ready and then this one too is ready. So let me harvest them. So these two eggplant. These are my garden pickings this evening. Um, the tomatoes, calamundin, um, peppers, and eggplant. I will be using this to make a pinangat. 
and then the rest I also picked because they're ready the donut peaches and then the cucumbers and then for uh, for the pinamat I'll be using these colorful tomatoes and um, the eggplant these are Japanese eggplant and then also Japanese peppers fushimi and then kalamundin kalamundin or kalamansi we call it kalamansi in the Philippines so this is kalamundin this is variegated kalamundin uh, we call this kalamansi in the Philippines and um, it is from a citrus family and it, it is sort of a cross between lemon and you know with lemon and lime they have like one dimensional flavor it's just like sour um, whereas this one has like a sweet like hint kind of like um, a cross between lemon and orange so I'll be using this to make pinangat it's a Filipino dish it is sour so we usually use a uh, vinegar or uh, kamias kamias is like three cucumber or like kalamansi or like tomatoes what else to make it sour or um maybe tamarind too i will be using this fish i can't remember what it's called so i need garlic smash the garlic These are the vegetables from the garden. I, I already washed them. And first, I'm going to slice the tomatoes. So let's prepare this um, fish. This is the fish. I'm going to add the tomatoes. And then the garlic. I think I can just put them like whole. This is John Flam. It's a French uh, tomato. So this is called pinangan. the uh, pepper fushimi pepper and uh, this is um oh these are kalamundin sour with a uh, like a sweet taste of orange so i'll just add this i need water like this about one cup water and uh, usually eaten with rice it was like seeds so I need to remove the seeds my mouth is watering it's like mouth watering because of the but it smells so good and the tomatoes are sour too so the sourness will come from the tomatoes and the the calamundin 
and then the eggplant or oh, the onion first. Let's put onion to make it colorful. Red onion. Oh, let's put red onion. And then the eggplant. I slice the eggplant last because eggplant they oxidize. They turn brown. So put them when it's almost ready. Like that. the eggplant smaller so they cook fast like that and then salt so pinangat is like sour and like salty it's supposed to uh, so it would last longer so this is ready So I just cook this covered for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes until the fish is cooked. And here is the pinangat.